Welcome back to our deep dive series. Today, we're exploring the eerie world of Courage the Cowardly Dog, a show that has haunted and entertained audiences since its debut in 1999. But did you know there are hidden messages and deeper themes woven into its creepy tales? Courage the Cowardly Dog is more than just a show about a scared dog facing monsters. It's a psychological exploration into fear, human nature, and the darker side of society. In this video, we'll uncover the hidden messages that you probably never noticed. Uh, overview of Courage the Cowardly Dog before diving into the hidden messages. Let's take a moment to appreciate what made Courage the Cowardly Dog so unique. Created by John R. Dilworth. The show is set in the fictional town of nowhere, Kansas, and follows Courage. A small, easily frightened dog who lives with an elderly couple, Muriel and Eustace Baggy. Each episode involves Courage facing off against supernatural beings, monsters, and other strange phenomena to protect his owners. The show is known for its eerie atmosphere, surreal animation, and unsettling stories that often blurred the line between horror and comedy, despite being marketed as a children's cartoon. Courage the Cowardly Dog delved into themes and narratives that resonated with a much broader audience. Hidden messages and psychological horror. Let's start with the show's use of psychological horror, which is a central theme throughout the series. Unlike traditional horror, which relies on physical threats and jump scares. Psychological horror explores the inner workings of the mind, tapping into our deepest fears and anxieties. For instance, in the episode King Ramsey's Curse, Courage faces the vengeful spirit of an ancient pharaoh. The episode is not just about a ghost haunting the Baga household, it explores the consequences of greed and the fear of retribution. Courage's struggle to return the stolen slab to Ramses reflects a moral lesson about the dangers of taking what isn't yours and the haunting guilt that can follow. Similarly, the episode Freaky Fred introduces Muriel's nephew Fred, who has an unsettling obsession with shaving. The episode's tone is deliberately uncomfortable. With Fred's internal monologue delivered in rhyming couplets that enhance the sense of unease, here, the horror comes not from Fred's actions, but from the psychological discomfort of his compulsive behavior, a theme that subtly addresses mental illness and obsession. Uh, social commentary and real-world parallels, three minutes. Beyond psychological horror, Courage the Cowardly Dog often uses its surreal stories to comment on societal issues. The show subtly weaves in critiques of real-world problems, often through the lens of the bizarre and the supernatural. Take the episode The House of Discontent, uh, where a spirit punishes the Bagus for not respecting the land they live on. This episode can be seen as a commentary on environmental neglect and the consequences of not taking care of our planet. The show, through its strange and unsettling narrative, warns of the dangers of ignoring the environment, long before such topics became mainstream. In another episode, the Tower of Dr. Zalost, a scientist named Dr. Zalost spreads misery across nowhere using a cannon that shoots misery pellets. The episode touches on themes of depression and the human desire for happiness, showing how external forces can manipulate our emotions. This story serves as an allegory for how society often seeks to control or suppress individual well-being for its own ends. Cultural and literary references. Courage the Cowardly Dog is also rich with cultural and literary references, many of which are subtly woven into the episodes. These references add depth to the show and offer viewers a more nuanced experience, particularly those familiar with the source material. For example, the episode The Demon in the Mattress is a clear homage to The Exorcist, and with Muriel becoming possessed by a demon after buying a new mattress. The episode plays on the classic horror trope of possession but does so with a comedic twist, blending horror and humor in a way that still manages to convey the terror of losing control. Another episode, The Mask, a features a character named Kitty who wears a mask to hide her true identity. This episode references themes of identity, trauma, and the masks people wear to hide their pain, echoing the literary works of authors like Edgar Allan Poe, who often explored similar themes in his stories. Uh, notable episodes and their deeper meanings. Now let's delve into some of the most notable episodes and uncover their deeper meanings. The Great Fusilli is an episode that explores themes of control and manipulation. Fusilli, a sinister director, turns Muriel and Eustace into puppets. This episode can be interpreted as a commentary on how people can be manipulated by those in power losing their autonomy and becoming mere puppets in the hands of others. Another standout episode, Perfect, dives into the anxiety and pressure of achieving perfection. In this episode, Courage is haunted by a stern teacher who constantly criticizes him for his perceived flaws. The episode culminates in a surreal sequence where Courage's subconscious mind visualizes his insecurities. The episode addresses the unrealistic standards of perfection imposed by society and the mental toll they take on individuals. 
King Ramsey's Curse, one of the most iconic episodes, also deserves a closer look. Beyond its immediate story of a vengeful spirit, the episode touches on themes of guilt, repentance, and the moral implications of theft. It's a reminder that our actions have consequences, and that sometimes the past can come back to haunt us in unexpected ways. Uh, character analysis and symbolism. Let's talk about the characters and the symbolism they represent. Courage. The show's protagonist is the embodiment of bravery despite overwhelming fear. His constant state of anxiety mirrors the human experience of facing fears and the unknown. Despite his fear, courage always steps up to protect Muriel and Eustace, symbolizing the idea that true courage is not the absence of fear, but the ability to act in spite of it. Eustace Bagay, the grumpy old man, represents ignorance and stubbornness. He often dismisses the supernatural occurrences around him, refusing to see beyond the mundane. His character can be seen as a critique of those who refuse to acknowledge the strange and unknown elements of life, choosing instead to remain in their comfort zone. Muriel Bage, on the other hand, symbolizes kindness, warmth, and maternal care. Her gentle nature provides a comforting contrast to the horrors Courage faces. Muriel's unwavering support for Courage highlights the importance of love and compassion in overcoming fear and adversity. Uh, insights from the creator, John R. Dilworth. John R. Dilworth, the creator of Courage the Cowardly Dog, has often spoken about his inspirations and the themes he wanted to explore through the show. Dilworth was heavily influenced by classic horror and surrealism. He saw courage as an opportunity to blend these elements with a unique form of storytelling that could resonate with both children and adults. His vision was to create a show that didn't shy away from darker themes, but instead used them to tell meaningful stories about fear, love, and the human condition. In interviews, Dilworth has mentioned that many of the episodes were inspired by his own dreams and nightmares. This explains the show's surreal and often dreamlike quality, where the boundaries between reality and the supernatural are constantly blurred. Fan theories and speculations. Over the years, Courage the Cowardly Dog has inspired numerous fan theories and speculations. Fans have delved deep into the show's episodes, uncovering possible hidden meanings and connections that add new layers to the narrative. One popular theory suggests that the entire show is seen through Courage's eyes, meaning that the horrors we see are exaggerated by his fear. This theory implies that the supernatural events are not as extreme as they appear but are instead distorted by Courage's anxious mind. This perspective adds a psychological twist to the show, making us question what is real and what is imagined. Another theory posits that nowhere, Kansas, represents a sort of purgatory where Courage and the Baggies are trapped, constantly facing tests of their character. Each episode's antagonist could be seen as a challenge they must overcome to earn redemption. This interpretation aligns with the show's recurring themes of fear. Courage, and morality. Legacy and cultural impact. Courage the Cowardly Dog has left a lasting legacy in the world of animation. It pushed the boundaries of what children's television could be, introducing complex themes and narratives that appealed to a wide audience. The show's unique blend of horror, humor, and heart has influenced a generation of animators and storytellers. Courage was ahead of its time in many ways. It addressed topics like mental illness, environmentalism, and societal pressures long before these issues became prominent in mainstream media. The show's ability to tackle such themes in a way that was accessible to children, yet still engaging for adults, is a testament to its creative genius. The show continues to be celebrated by fans and remains a cult classic. Its influence can be seen in modern animated series that explore darker themes and complex characters, proving that Courage the Cowardly Dog was a trailblazer in the world of animation. Uh, conclusion. So, next time you watch Courage the Cowardly Dog, and keep an eye out for these hidden messages and themes. The show's unique blend of horror, humor, and heart offers much more than meets the eye. From psychological horror to social commentary, Courage is a treasure trove of deeper meanings waiting to be uncovered. What other secrets might this beloved show be hiding? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest explorations into the fascinating world of early 2000s cartoons. Well